me and my brother are going to cycle the whole of the South Downs in three days, or at least we're going to attempt to. I'm going to show you guys what I'm packing in terms of food and seeing if it's enough to sustain me with a hundred miles of off-road cycling. I'm not really going to be having breakfasts. I'm just going to have a lunch, dinner and snacks. So first off, we're going to have a lunch. We're going to have a couple of these so I could have like the two curried chickpeas. These are good because they've got the rice in as well. So they've got, you know, a good mixture of carbs and protein as well. If we're having them for lunch, I'm probably just going to open it and just stick the spoon in. I'm not going to bother heating it up or anything. Um, yeah, we're bringing with us a jet boil, which is just a way to quickly boil up some water. So we can use that if we need to. Then for dinner, I'm gonna be having some couscous. Now, I've, this is also gonna be my bowl. I'm gonna eat out of this tub as well. We've got couscous. It's a great one because it's super dense. And with the couscous, I'm also gonna add in some peanuts as well, just for some extra protein. Uh, I think one of these will be enough, but I've packed enough I pack two for each dinner time just to be on the safe side. I don't, this is two portions, this one, but like I've seen on the thing, it says 189 calories per portion. And I've noticed other companies doing this. They basically advertise how few calories it has in, which makes zero sense. Like it's not a selling point to have less fuel in. Anyway, we've got four of those in there and that should do the trick. Really useful having a tub like this that you can use for your bowl because if you've kind of, if you get full and you want to have some later, you can kind of just pop it on and then just store it, have it for breakfast or something. Delicious continental breakfast. And then throughout the day, I've budgeted for three of these bars every day. These are the ones I got from Audi. They look pretty nice. I haven't tried them yet. Cacao brownie bar. And this is peanut and salted caramel. So yeah, it looks nice. Let's give it a go. And again, these are in another tub because tubs are always useful. Then for the next day, we're going to have lunch and then couscous and then snacks throughout the day and then lunch and then snacks and then uh, on the last day for dinner, I think we'll probably just, we're going to end up in Eastbourne and I think we'll probably just grab some chips or some quick takeaway food, something like that. So I haven't packed a dinner for them. That's three days worth of food. Try to pack in as many calories into as small a space as possible. I'm excited. This is going to be a really fun little adventure. I cycle quite a lot to work and stuff, but I had to borrow a mountain bike for this from someone from my jiu-jitsu group. So thanks to Robbo for hooking me up with the mountain bike. Just realized I got this little pouch, which clips onto the bike, like onto the frame of the bike. So I'm actually just going to stick all of these in here and that means that they're nice and easy to just grab a quick snack while i'm on the go even better packing well let's go all right now we're in winchester and we've got the fun part of trying to actually find the south downs i think this is the start he's born in 99 miles you ready It's more than nine miles. Let's go. Let's do it. Obviously, the most important thing is hydration. I had this three liter water bladder thing, which was super useful to be able to carry a good amount of water. Luckily, on the South Downs, there's plenty of tap points, so you can fill up regularly. You could probably get away with a little bit less water carrying capacity than this but three liters is great now as i said i was skipping breakfast but my brother decided to have breakfast he just made like a kind of muesli thing that he could add water to so if you want some breakfast that's a good quick one to do in terms of snacks i was really happy with what i brought those little bars from audi were super nice and having a huge bag of peanuts was great we had like 400 grams and i was sharing them with my brother that kind of got us through the trip so nice just to have a quick handful at the top of the hill or something like that just to keep you going with lunch what i did was i had the curry separately so I'd have one as kind of an early lunch, one as a late lunch. And that was nice because it meant I was never super full. It was just enough to keep me going. Unfortunately, with the curries, one of them was nice, this barbecue beans one, but the others were really kind of bland. So 
one thing I would definitely recommend you do if you're going on a trip is make sure you check the food you're going to eat before you go and make sure it's something you really want to eat. This was kind of a bit disappointing having some bland ass curry. So for dinner, the couscous worked out great. Love couscous. The only thing is it is nice to have a bit of sauce with it or something to kind of make it a bit more interesting. So if you've got space, what I would have done is just brought an extra curry so I could have something to go with the couscous. Could have one packet of couscous, one curry rather than just two packets of couscous. Also with couscous, a cool thing that I could have done would be adding in some peanuts or seeds, something like that to just spice it up, give a bit more protein to the meal so it's not just one grain you're having for dinner. That's all of the food. One thing I would bring if I was cycling again is a spare chain because me and my brother both broke a chain and that was a pain. We both had to cycle back to like the nearest town to find a bike shop. Anyway, I know it's a bit different to my normal style of videos, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.